The fourth tool is very simple. It's what we've been working on all this time. It's in, it's in this process, just like a, in a waterfall, when you're, it feels like a river knows itself, but then in a waterfall, droplets of water start to come out, and it starts to feel like you're all by yourself. You might be this one droplet of water in this fall. You don't even remember ever being part of a river before. All you feel is that fall. But there's a reconnection, isn't there? There's a moment where that droplet of water becomes part of the river again. That reconnection is what we want. That reconnection is what we're striving for. When, when my family started noticing me showing up for dinner and trying to eat, or, you know, I would always put my head down like this and I would struggle to eat so I wouldn't look at my mom, because she would always look at me with these, with these eyes while I was eating. I didn't know what that was about. I thought it was uh, something uh, wrong, you know? Now I have a child, I know what that means. Right? She was trying to uh, feel the love of that moment of me eating her food. And here I am struggling with it. And one day, it took many, you know, many years later, maybe 15 years later, I'm 30 years old, sitting with my parents, eating, and I'm going this, and I'm noticing her, I, I noticed her looking at me, but I'm not feeling what I usually feel. I'm not feeling those kind of words or thoughts or, or uh, perceptions that kind of say, get out of there, you know? And it just said, look up. You can look up now. So I looked up, and there's my mom looking at me like she always was. And I felt it. Finally felt it. What she'd been trying to say in that look all these years. I never thought I'd get that. I didn't know how to explain it. She didn't say anything, I didn't say anything. We just both acknowledged it with a little kind of smile in our eyes, and I went back to eating. Daddy missed the whole thing. <laughs> he was just eating, enjoying everything he said. But man, talk about neuroplasticity in action, right? That was, that was when I realized, wow, this can be rewired. Something that I had been thinking was just I would have to just put up with and tolerate the fact that I would just kind of pretend to be reconnected with my family and do, kind of go through the motions, would actually, I would become whole again in a way that I had never th thought possible. So it is possible, and it can be done, because I've done it, you know? I think that the last moment that I really struggled with this um, was every moment. I walked into a room with a person I hadn't met yet, with a family that I hadn't met yet. Every time I thought I'd had the confidence about what my experience had been and what we could do, even our experience, our collective experience, but every family, every individual is a universe of one. So every time their challenge came in my view, I got scared, just like Hanuman did, just like every person does when they see just how far we have to go, right? Every community, every system, every moment, we struggle with that. You know, and we suddenly feel like that droplet of water. But man, I gotta tell you, every time I do just some of these basics, I remember, I take a risk, I restory, and I reconnect. You know, I just kind of get out of the way a little bit and just see what's gonna happen next. And I allow people to emerge in that way. That's, guess what, we show up. We remember who we are. 